Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be another 411 love reading where we look at pretty much everything that you want to know about love, who you might be dealing with, what's going to be happening, what you can expect. Um, we're going to be looking at all of that in this reading. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out the description box. I have information there and links to um, the playlist for each sign so you can check out your other placements for additional messages. So let's jump right in for Aries. For Aries, spirits, angels, guides, what guidance messages insight do you have for Aries in love? What does Aries need to know, spirit, regarding love? <coughs> Excuse me. What does Aries need to know regarding love? Okay, let's see. So it's currently happening for you in love or the current situation. Seven of Pentacles and the Sun. Okay. Um, I feel like waiting for something waiting for clarity, waiting for happiness. There's a waiting period here with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what do we need to know about the current situation or are there any past energies influencing the current situation? Five of Wands and Death. Ooh, Scorpio energy. Interesting, so I feel like this connection had some sort of change or ending in the past that's affecting how it is now. Could have been some conflict, um, drama perhaps. We'll see what that's all about. Let me move this over. Have a little bit more room. Okay, how do you feel about this person? The High Priest is reverse. Page of Wands, okay. I feel like you wanna hear something from this person or they're gonna reach out to you or you wanna reach out to them. Maybe you want to break the silence because the high priestess reverse is almost like whatever knowledge was secret, it's now known. Page of Wands also kind of starts something, takes the initiative. So um, it's like you want to start something with this person. We'll see when we clarify. How, do, how are they feeling, thinking about you? Wow, the Two of Cups and the Moon. <laughs> Pisces energy with the moon. I feel like there's um, unknowns here between you. You have the high priestess reverse. They have the moon. We have the seven of pentacles over there. So it's like there's not a lot of clarity about something. Okay. Um, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? We have the two of swords and the king of wands. So right away, I feel like someone isn't sure of what to do. They might know what they want but they don't know how to get it. Where's all of this headed in the near future? Four of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Cups reverse. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be with the Seven of Cups reverse and the Four of Pentacles reverse, I feel like someone's making the choice to let go of something, but I'm not sure what it is. We'll see if I'm right about that. Let me move these over here. Okay, um, and the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, the why everything is happening. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Happy endings, emotional fulfillment, happiness. Hmm. You might be getting your happy ending, Aries. Didn't you have a reading with something like that in the title? Hmm. You have the sun here as well in the current situation. Two of cups, ten of cups. I mean, it's not... There's possibilities here, potential. Great. Can I get some clarity, please, for these energies? Or Aries. Or Aries. Let's start with this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups could also be um, reaching like the ultimate dream, the pinnacle, uh, happy family. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups here? 
Why is the Ten of Cups here in the overall energy? Seven of Wands. Why is the Ten of Cups here in the overall energy? What can you tell us, Spirit, about the Ten of Cups? Three of Cups, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Sorry about that. My dogs heard something at the door. I'll, I'll see if I can cut that out of the video. Okay, so... Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. Seven of Wands. Three of Cups. I feel like someone's not sure. About a reunion, about a third party. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Page of Pentacles. So I get a sense of this being kind of like an offer that someone wants to make to someone however there's like a burden here something's in the way yeah of like starting this there's like a burden that's keeping someone from starting something what's the seven of wands about why is the seven of wands here <sighs> ten of wands yeah i feel like there's a challenge here someone yeah there's a challenge there's something that is literally keeping you or this person or both of you from having this Ten of Cups. It could be a third party. It could be other obstacles. But there's definitely an obstacle here to this Ten of Cups. Okay, so let's look at the current situation. The Seven of Pentacles and the Sun. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely waiting. Someone's waiting for something. Waiting for happiness. Waiting for a message. Wait, I, I'm getting like someone's expecting something. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Can you tell me, Spirit, about this Three of Wands? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they're waiting to give someone something to someone or waiting to receive something with the um, Six of Pentacles. This could also be, um, I'm sorry guys, if I can't like get my words out, Mercury Retrograde has me in a chokehold, okay? <laughs> Hasn't been easy <laughs> doing these readings. Okay, so let's look at, um, it, this could also be about balance is what I was trying to say. Now let's look at the sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Yep, ten of cups. This is about like being truly happy, fulfilled, happiness, joy, hearing good news. Someone's waiting for this. You or your person or both of you are waiting for this. And it's probably you're waiting for happiness despite what's already happened between you with this Five of Wands and Death. Tell me about the Five of Wands and Death. Why is the Five of Wands and Death here? Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. Tell me about the Five of Wands and Death. Talking about the five of wands and death. Page of cups. I feel like this is somebody that wants to fix something. Like maybe this is someone wanting to offer you a cup, Aries. An apology, perhaps, for what has happened. Tell me about this page of cups. Spirit, tell me about this page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? For Aries. Why is a page of cups here? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. I heard turn it around. Turn it around. 
with the truth, Ace of Swords. Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone wants to talk about the past, talk about their regrets, talk about what has happened. And it's almost like they want to turn this around. That's what I heard. Turn it around. And they're hoping that maybe communicating will do that. Yeah, there's the world. I just split the deck to uh, shuffle it and I have the Ace of Swords in the world. So it's like starting a new cycle. Causing a change. Let's look at the energies between you and this person. Spirit, tell me the energies, please, between Aries and the person they are in a connection with. What are the energies between Aries? Oops. Of course, I dropped my... Tell me about the energies that Aries is bringing to this connection. What energies is Aries bringing to this connection, Spirit? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Yeah, I feel like you want to start something, Aries. It's like maybe you recognize the potential of something and you want to grow, manifest, have abundance. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. True love. Yeah, there's a connection here. They have the two of cups and now they have true love let me get another I'll get a kipper deck there's definitely a connection between you and your person feels it and I feel like you also it's like you recognize what it could be tell me about Aries That's way too many. But let's look at them. Marriage, lovers, and courthouse. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. I feel like you are, this person is probably the person that you see yourself with, like your future. Someone here could already be married. I feel like this is what you want, marriage, a connection. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. What are their energies, spirit? What are their energies? Family room. Okay, so message of concern at the bottom of the deck. Family room is also, it's, it's kind of a card about intimacy. Um, this card is about like uh, feeling comfortable, feeling that, that bond that you usually have with family. It's supposed to be like the room of the house that people gather, congregate. Um, share secrets, ha are comfortable enough being themselves, right? I feel like this person knows and recognizes that you are a special person for them. However, there's still something that they're not aware of here with the moon, or they have doubts to some extent here. So let's see what this High Priestess reverse is all about. Why is the High Priestess reverse? High Priestess reversed. Why is the High Priestess reversed here? <laughs> because of the moon. You're both in the same... You're both marrying each other. I feel like you just want to get to the bottom of something. You just want to know something. You both are wondering about each other. You're both thinking of each other. I feel like if you are both interested in each other, it's probably not out in the open. Tell me more about this moon. What do we need to know about this moon? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you're wondering if this would work, if you and this person could build something, could work on something. The effort that you are able to put into this or they're able to put into this. I'm getting to... Um, you might be like distracting yourself with a... Uh, can't talk with a hobby or a job or an um a project you're staying busy
Tell me more about this moon. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this moon? What do we need to know about this moon? Yeah, this is all connected. Page of Wands again. You want to start something. I feel like you're willing to try out this connection or you're willing to take a chance on this connection because I think you see the potential. Tell me about this page of wands over here. You might even be the one reaching out or taking the initiative here, Aries. King of Swords. This is definitely communication. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're both pop, you know, and it's funny because I almost, when I put this card down and looked at the Two of Cups, I thought of two people planning something <laughs> that they, it's almost like, you know, when two people are trying to surprise each other, they don't realize that they both had the same idea about the surprise. And so they show up and they're like, oh, surprise. And the other person's like, no, actually, I have a surprise too. It's like you're both entertaining the same idea, but you don't know it. I think you both want to talk, want to reach out to each other. Let's look down here. Tell me about the moon down here. Why is the moon down here? Knight of Wands. Why is the moon down here, Spirit? Why is the moon down here? Six of Cups, yeah. This is somebody that wants to act on the past. It's almost like this person has no idea how their action would go. You know, once they do take action with this Knight of Wands, will it be successful? I have doubts, I have no idea how Aries will take this. But there's definitely, this is, this is done with a purpose. Six of Cups is here. Two of Cups is here. This person definitely sees you as a soulmate or as a very special connection that they have. True Love is here, which is kind of like my Two of Cups card in this deck. Excuse me. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, the Fool. This person is going to take a risk, a chance. And look, the Lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Because they see you as their person. I honestly feel, you know, and I feel, you know, don't, don't take what I'm about to say as like Bible, right? Like it's not set in stone or whatever. Um, but for most of you, this person, the only reason they're taking a risk is because of a pull that they feel. There's a five of pentacles. Yeah, there's something missing in their life. And I think they, they're making that connection that it's you or it's this partnership. I don't think that there's anything else this person's going by, which is strange. I don't know why I'm getting that. But it's almost like this person's thinking, I just need to take a risk on who I feel is my person. I have no idea how Aries feels or no idea how this is going to go. I'm still going to go for it, though. Do you know what I mean? So let's look over here, the Two of Swords with the King of Wands. So like I said, this is in the hidden factors, what you need to know. I feel like someone's unsure about what decision they need to make. What's this Two of Swords about? Someone's undecided with the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Knight of Cups. So this is somebody that's undecided about coming forward, communicating. There's a Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck apologizing offering this cup of love you know it's it's interesting because i have the page of pentacles knight of cups page of cups there's no aces here the ace of swords did show up earlier but it's not on the board and aces for me are like big beginnings big starts starting from zero right so I find it very fascinating that the offers are small. It's almost like a tentative offer, extending that first initial contact and then kind of seeing where it goes from there, right? Tell me about this two of swords, but this could also be that, I don't know, I almost get the sense that this is somebody that you've already had some sort of a past with. That's why the death card was already here. 
Tell me about the two of so King of Pentacles. King of Wands is here as well. Nine of Swords at the bottom. That's not typically like... You know, this could be somebody that you're dealing with that typically they don't, they're not risk takers. Tell me about this King of Wands. Let me see if I'm right about that. Tell me about this King of Wands. I need to know about this King of Wands. Nine of Cups. This person knows what they want. It's just how to go about it. And the King of Pentacles, they tend to think about all of their decisions a lot. They are five steps ahead. They don't take risks. So I find it very fascinating that your person has the Knight of Wands and the Fool. Like this is the risk taker right here, both of these. Massive risk takers, like they just go for it. So what I'm kind of getting here is that someone is not debating with themselves about what they feel or what they want, but more the delivery. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is about the approach. The approach of the offer or the approach towards you. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. There is an obstacle though. Remember, let's get back to the original overall energy, the why everything is happening. There's an obstacle to this 10 of cups. That's why there's been a waiting period all this time. Things are balancing out over time because there's an obstacle that needs to be dealt with. However, I could tell you the obstacle is not whether someone wants to be with you or not. There's the world, it just fell out. So let's see where all of this is headed because this is kind of, an interesting pair down here. Oh my God, what is going on with my deck? Seven of Cups reverse sometimes can be a card about making the wrong choice, choosing the wrong cup. So we'll see why this is kind of paired with the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The Devil, Capricorn Energy, well, yikes. So remember when I said earlier, when I first put down these energies, I said that someone's probably gonna have to let something go? Makes sense. The Devil is definitely a card about being tied down, restricted, shackled. There's an unhealthy layer to everything. Um, someone's on the wrong path with the devil. I feel like someone needs to let go of an attachment. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Yep, seven of swords. Someone I feel made a mistake at some point. I feel like they were led down the wrong path without realizing it or they made choices that now they need to whatever situation they find themselves in they need to let go of that situation this is going to happen in the near future here tell me about the seven of cups reverse why is the seven of cups reverse spirit why is the seven of cups reverse yep Someone knows what they, I think that's why there's this hold up here with the two of swords. Someone, their hands are tied right now. Tell me about the seven of cups reverse because they made a wrong choice down, maybe way behind in the past or recently. Tell me about the seven of cups reverse. Yep, nine of wands. This person made a wrong choice. Yeah, and they're waking up to it now. There's judgment. They know that the re so this is not someone that's ignorant of their current situation and the dilemma that they find themselves in i don't think this person's going to give up i just think this is definitely an obstacle what else do we need to know spirit about the future outcome here for aries and this person what else do we need to know yep death 
Scorpio energy. So I feel like a cycle needs to close. And there's judgment again at the bottom of the deck, definitely. Someone's aware of what needs to happen. They know there has to be a change that is made here. You could be dealing with Scorpio. doesn't have to be. I think this is just a symbol for the ending of a cycle. Um, I don't think it's a coincidence that the world has shown up twice. Because this is all, I feel, leading to a new cycle. However, there's a block. And that block is someone's mistake. Their mistake from the past is costing them in the present. And I feel like you've been patient or waiting because of the potential of what could be. But I hate to say it, I feel like you'll be waiting a little bit longer. Um, because I feel like this is a complicated situation. Um, this is a 10 of wands here, devil energy, nine of wands. This is something that has built up over time. The 10 of wands, especially for me as a reader, oh my God, I can't even talk. <laughs> For me as a reader, <laughs> the Ten of Wands is wands that you accumulate over time. They get heavier and heavier the more you carry them, you know. Um, but it's not something you don't get to Ten of Wands overnight, basically. Same with all the Tens. They take time to... A Ten takes time. So I feel, you know, I feel like this... And honestly, Judgment, there's two Tens there. If you look at the very top, this is somebody that's getting ready for the world. The world's after judgment, but first needs to come death. There needs to be a change, an awakening, a handling of the obstacle. And this person knows, they already know this. They just, I feel like their hands are maybe a little bit tied here, but I feel like this person, um, their hands are tied at this time. There's some sort of obstacle in their way and they're kind of working through that. But I don't think this person, it's not like they don't know what they want. That's not the problem here. I feel like if they could do this over, like right now, this fool and this knight of wands, they would. They would just do it. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much to anyone that has already subscribed and uh, continues to watch the channel. I really appreciate your support. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Thanks so much for watching once again and take care.